deep. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words of the developer. Let's read, let's read. Ride a massive urban world of the Alps and Alaska, where the powder is always fresh and the run never ends. Defy and master the world's most epic mountains on skis, wingsuit, snowboard and in paraglide. Rip through snowy terrains and skis, discover hidden spots, or just take in all the beauty the highlands of the Alps and Alaska have to offer. Share thrilling adrenaline fueled experiences with other players. Seamlessly meet other players and choose to follow them or play together. Group with your friends or pull off the craziest stunts imaginable. You can even mix sports to create wild tricks. Challenge your friends to beat your own personal records, lines and scores. Yes guys, this is Steep, the snowboardy, ski, paraglidy, wingsuit, acrobatic game, which is set on a big mountainside that's open world and you can go anywhere and meet lots and lots of multiplayer players as, that's also on the mountain and have great multiplayer fun. No, you can't. No. You can't do that, guys. You can't do that. I'm sorry. You, you think you can do it. You think... You actually think, it says open world and multiplayer. So you actually think, ah, open world, go anywhere, multiplayer, ooh, lots of players. No, four, guys. And I've only ever seen one guy uh, at a time. And uh, you don't really do much together, uh, except embarrass yourself. It's kind of, yeah, yeah. You jump off cliffs together, go skiing together, but... Yeah. Ooh, look, I'm getting air. Yeah. So, multiplayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, how's the skiing? Brilliant. I love the skiing. The skiing, the snowboarding is great. Flying down the powder. Yeah, yeah, powder. See? I know, I know the deal. Going down the powder, guys, on your uh, board. Is it board? Is that the cool word? Board on my board, getting air, guys. Getting air on the powder on my board. On the lines. On the right lines, guys. There's some good lines here, bro. There's some good lines on this mountain. Good lines to rip off my air in my bro board. Yeah. It's... It reminded me of the Wii. It reminded me of playing the skiing on the Wii. You know, where you stand up like a prick in your front room with the two controllers. It, it reminded me of that. And, hey, I loved this game for about 15 minutes. It was really fun just jumping off little ramps and doing backflips and spins and all of this and then landing again and going faster, dodging trees, you know, and really enjoying the skiing. I mean, it was it's the most realistic ski. I've actually been skiing before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done it all, mate, man. I've skied. I've, well, I was actually down a dry slope at Silksworth, but, hey, I've still skied. And uh, it was fun, it was fun, and this is fun, skiing, it's skiing, jumping and all of that. It's fun, but only for a very short, unless you're a total and utter ski freak, then you'll probably like it for a bit longer than 15 minutes, but I found it very repetitive. It looks gorgeous, mind. It looks absolutely gorgeous. There's hardly any options because it's clearly a console port, a console port, a console, console, console port. It's a console port, guys. It's a, it's a console port. And it's a bit steep. It's forty pound, guys. A bit steep, but it's a console port, and you can tell it's a console port because of the horrific, horrific graphical options and lack of any options really. The options is just shit. And I was kind of like, well, what do I do then? You know, I'm on this mountain, and there's a challenge. Okay, fly through the circles. Okay, I've flown through the circles, and I got a bronze medal. Oh, I've flown through these circles here, and I got a gold medal. Oh, I'm leveling up, so now I can go to that little activity there that's unlocked because I've leveled up. So I'll go to that activity, and what does it say? Uh, ski through these circles here, then. Okay, I'll ski through these. But I've just skied through some circles on another hill. Yeah, but ski through these ones because these are slightly harder. All right, okay. I've done that. I've got a bronze silver. Ah, well done. You've got bronze silver. Oh, you leveled up a bit more. Now you can go over there. And you've got to fly the wingsuit through them circles over there. All right, I'll fly the wingsuit no, no, suit no, through no, them no. circles. Yeah, I've done that. Um, I've got a silver medal. Wow. Okay, now, hey, paraglide. Go to that one then. Paraglide through the circles on, on that one. Yeah, but I've skied through the circles. I've snowboarded through the circles. I've wingsuited through the circles. Now I've got to paraglide through some circles. Yeah, but these aren't the same circles. These are different circles. All right, then, okay, I'll, I'll paraglide through these circles. Okay, now, I, well, now, 
if you go to that mountain there, that part of the mountain, there's a whole load of new challenges open. Oh, wow, what are they? Well, you ski through some more circles, you paraglide through some circles, you wingsuit through some circles, and you snowboard through some circles. It's amazing. And then when you've done that, there's another part of the mountain there that's even higher, man. Oh, man, it's higher. And then you, you know what you do up there? You'll never guess. You'll never guess. You ski through some more circles, paraglide through some more circles, snowboard through some circles and wingsuit through some circles and if you're lucky you might meet somebody else who's actually 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 going through the circles and you can go through the circles together because it's fun it's fun this is fun for 40 pound guys and no no it's not when i'm skiing through the circles i want undead nazi snow zombies to reach their hands up and go and grab my foot as I'm going past and I want my co-op friend to have a f***ing submachine gun and him to be in mid-air in his wingsuit going and shooting the Nazi zombie stormtroopers that's coming out of the snow. Oops, we broke my bell there guys. And we don't have any of that. We don't have, you can't even guys, you can't even, you can't, you c guys, you can't even switch, right, switch between Parachute, you know, I'm, I'm flying down with my parachute. Ditch the parachute in midair, switch to skis and drop, or ski off a cliff. And then, as you're about to fall and die, you just pull the parachute. And then, you you know, you know, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't. I want to, I want to jump out of a hot air balloon with my wingsuit and then switch to skis and fly down. I want to ski off a cliff, then suddenly switch to wings. In, you can in just cause three. In just course three, you can pull your, your wingsuit, parachute, wingsuit, parachute, and just traverse everywhere. You can't in this. You can't in this. You're stuck with what you choose until you go into walk mode. So, and they say they're doing that because they want it to be realistic. Realistic, really? Well, I whacked into a rock face at 200 miles an hour and went, oh man, that was a rough, that was a rough crash. Yeah. I'd have been a piece of paint if I'd done that. That's all that would have been left with me. A red painty imprint. Stand on some rocks on your skis and you go ooh, 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 and then fall over. It's it the, the real it's ridiculous, the realism. There is no realism in this. Alright, so you can do realistic stunts. But that's it. It's about as realistic as false tits, guys, this game. It really is. The problem with this game. The problem, problem, is it's a bit steep at £40. It's steep, guys. It's very, very steep. It's boring as well. It's boring. It's boring. It's boring. Very, very boring. It's very, very boring. It's very, very boring. All you do is wingsuit off a cliff, ski down a cliff, snowboard down a cliff, or paraglide around a cliff. And as you're going down, you look for little jumps, to jump in the air, get some air, and then do a flip, do a twirl, do a spin, do a backflip, you know, grab your board and then land and then do it again. And that's the game for 40 pounds, for 40, 40, 40 pounds. I wanted more, I wanted more. I was expecting, guys, I was expecting a huge ski resort with about 100 players all over the mountainside, having social activities, having places to go into where you can buy drinks and go down pissed. I expected a full on proper immersive ski resort you know off pissed when you're pissed you know i want to go off pissed pissed that's i can't i can't even get pissed it's as shallow as a puddle of piss guys it really is there's oh, yeah. nothing to this game i can't believe it's 40 pound i really can't to add insult to add in 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 insult guys this is a shop there's an in-game shop that sells you fucking woolly hats Woolly hats, jackets, gloves, torches, strides, and wingsuits, and all this. And you know what? To buy them, you buy steep points for, I think the cheapest is £7.99, or is it £3.99? And you'll get a little. I, I priced a wingsuit at £7.99, just so you can go, hey, look, 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 I've got a cooler wingsuit than you. Hey, hey, you four guys. You four guys over there, sorry, you three guys over there, because you can only have four per server. You three guys, look, 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 I have I have a fluffy pink pink wingsuit. It only cost me £7.99. I could have bought a very good indie game for that, but I chose to buy this pink hippopotamus f***ing wingsuit. Do you like it? Well, you'll never know because you can't f***ing chat to the f***ers. You just have voice chat, of course, but you can't type. But 
Why would you? Why would you? It's a cash grab from hell, this game. Not only is it £40, but they've had the cheek to add f***ing shop selling woolly f***ing hats. Woolly hats, guys. I mean, you would think. Wouldn't you think? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, guys? Listen, wouldn't you just f***ing think that a game as shitty shallow as this, with so little content, that they would at least say, look, 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 guys, we can't sell this. We can't. What is there to do? You know, ski, snowboard, parachute, and wingsuit. And you can do a couple of tricks over and over again for £40. Look, let's at least give them a whole load of stuff that can dress the characters up. You know, four-player multiplayer in 2016. Bloody hell, my mood playing tribes with 128 players in 1996. In a world bigger than this? Come on, we'll, we'll, give them, we'll give them a huge wardrobe full of stuff just so they can at least, you know, you know. Oh, no. Nah, buy the f with real money. You can unlock them with steep money that you earn in the game, but, you know, that'll take you about an eon. So, unless, guys, unless you are an absolute obsessive ski snowboard fan, stay well away from this absolute cash-grabbing pile of wank until it comes down to approximately, what, £10, 9.99? That's all it's worth. In fact, I'd be grudged to pay 9.99 for this. 9.99. I paid 31 pound for this. That's only because I got it cheap on Green Man Gaming. That's how much I paid. I now have to live with that. I have to live with the fact that I paid 31 pound for this pile of shit. Just think of what I could have bought for that. Just think, guys, what I could have bought. So there you go, guys. I leave you with my first ever meeting in multiplayer and how I embarrassed myself with this guy who we were about to go wingsuit flying with. It kind of sums up this game.